Hi guys, welcome to TechBase. Today I have a huge announcement. Well, Windows 11 25H2 is now releasing to the release preview channel. So of course, this means that about a month time approximately, Windows 11 25H2 will also be released on the main release as well. So first of all, if you want to get Windows 11 25H2 earlier, make sure you are enrolled in the release preview channel. So of course, go into the Windows Update section inside settings, go into the Windows Insider program, and here make sure you are enrolled in the release preview channel. As you can see, this is the case for me. And after a few tries, of course, you'll notice that you will receive inside Windows Update, Windows 11 version 25H2 is available. Of course, this is not instantly rolling up for everyone in the release preview channel, so you may need to wait maybe until tomorrow, maybe a few days, but it will start rolling up for everyone that is enrolled in the release preview channel. You're going to see that and you can just click on download and install if you want to get that latest version. Some information about Windows 11 25H2 for those of you who don't know what Windows 11 25H2 is. Well, Windows 11 25H2 will be delivered as an enablement package and the build that is releasing today in the release preview channel is a build 26200.5074. It being delivered as an enable on package means that Windows 11 version 24H2 and version 25H2 use a shared servicing branch. It also means that they also share the same new features and enhancements delivered through Microsoft's Windows Update. And also Windows 11 25H2 includes some feature removals such as PowerShell 2.0 and Windows Management Instrumentation Command Line. And also for commercial customers, Windows 11 version 25 H2 includes the ability for IT admins to remove select reinstalled Microsoft Store apps via the group policy editor. Basically, you can also do that if you are an admin. You can just go into the group policy editor, go into administrative templates, Windows components, app package deployment. You're going to see here remove default Microsoft Store packages from the system. And with this, you can basically remove some bloatware from the system. But pay attention, this only works for newly created user accounts. So it won't take effect on the current user. And finally, Microsoft is announcing that ISOs will be available for Windows 11. 25H2, so we're going to be able to get them early and test out all of things related to Windows 11 25H2. So this is basically the video that I wanted to do to make this announcement. Windows 11 25H2 is being released on the release preview channel. So if you are enrolled in the release preview channel, you can test out Windows 11 25H2. For more information about Windows 11 25H2, you can check out my channel. I have a dedicated playlist with Windows 11 25H2 videos or on my website, it's sickbase.com because I'm going to keep you up to date with everything new related to Windows 11 25 H2. So this was the video for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.